What's good, y'all? We back with another video. As y'all can see, we back today, and I got hit. We down $317. It went the opposite way, y'all. I'm going to let this run for a second, let y'all follow it. Hopefully, it, it, it pulls back. I make a little bit of my money back, but if not, it be like that. Okay, so we're down to 312 right now, 310. So what I got to decide right now is where do I want to cut my loss? It's 315. I could just cut my loss right now. It said 425, 426 a share. I could just cut my loss right here and, and re-enter if I think it's going to go a certain way. But I still believe that this should be coming down. Let's just hope this price keep going down. So I'm not going, yesterday I made a video it was super long. I'm not going to make this one that long. So I'm going to make this one, each clip probably three to four minutes and just keep y'all updated like that. So right here we down 325 so far. I'll let y'all know before I sell it or what I decide to do with it. We'll be back in a minute. Let, matter of fact, let's check the portfolio, see where we at. So we down $17 for today. Hundred shares of Apple looking nice right now. They back to one thirteen a share. Still down nine hundred dollars on Apple, but total this is worth eleven thousand three hundred. Okay, so we down to two forty five right now. So it's coming down as we speak. 227, 230. We might just let it ride right here for a minute. Now, I don't want the video too long, so we're going to make this one short. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, as y'all see, we back down only 150 but This is where we were at yesterday, $150. 140 So I'm hoping that, you know, the price continues to drop. That way I make my money back. Really, it would have been bad because this uh, share price shot up to about, it shot up like $20 overnight. So I would have been down about $800. So luckily, it started to, you know, go back down a little bit. So right now, it's teetering back and forth. So I might end up having to take my loss right here. I might have to end up jumping out at 177 or so. Even though I don't want to, I'm really hoping that it would come back down. Which normally, after the first hour the market uh, opens, it, it normally goes down. So that's what I'm waiting on to see. We're down to 132, 122. So for the day, I lost $100 here. $105 here, I'm down. And remember, I ended the day yesterday down 135 I mean, excuse me, down $35. And then you got to remember that data kicked in also. So I lost about, let's see. So my theta is 54. So I lost about $55 from holding this for one day. See, I had a 23 hours so far. 
So I'm down about $55 that normally wouldn't be. But because I held it over over uh, the one day period, I had to eat that time decay. So now I'm hoping it drops low enough to make up for my loss on that. Forty one twenty five one twenty one seventeen one hundred ninety two. Okay, let's go. So now let's say fifty seven. Let's go twenty seven. Let's go thirty five forty two. Now let's say if I'd have sold this when it was down three hundred something dollars, I'd have just took a, a big loss. So right here, I could jump out here and be down only fifty five sixty two sixty dollars for the day. It depends on your preference. And your risk. The reason I'm not going to sell this just yet is because this is basically where it would be at if it wasn't for time decay. I would basically be broken even. So we down only 17 bucks. For share price at 419. I'm hoping it just drops. I'm hoping it collapsed from there. Down only 37, only 30, only 27, up $3 for the day. Down 37, let's go. Down 37, 37, 37, 37, 37, 40. Okay, I'm going to uh, pause it right here and come back to y'all in a minute if we get some updates. That's good, y'all. We back, and you see we are up $25 total and up $55 for the day. $68 for the day, but y'all got to count that 35 we were down yesterday. So it's a total of actually $25 right now. So that uh, feel good instead of being in the negatives or in the red on this one. So it's going down right now. So y'all should see this number continue to rise. Just went back up. So back down $7, but throughout the day back down 30, 25. You see how this can fluctuate? So it's, it depends on when you get in or where you get out. You see, I was down, uh, I think the highest I seen was like 380 today. Now, if I'd have sold right there at 380, I'd just took a $380 loss. So you got to pay attention to it and see where to get in and where to get out. So I'll be back again before I sell this. I'll let y'all know how it go. Okay, y'all, we back with a quick update. I'm down $250. Y'all see how volatile this is? It can swing $300 all the way back down to being up $50. It's crazy. But you just got to know how to play it. Let's check out the charts. Okay, so here, share price $439. Today's high. Today's low. market opened here so the market opened right here so 430 I think it'll be going down today especially with this uncertainty with the election with them uh, Trump claiming victory when the results aren't completely in yet I think that might create a little panic in the market and I'm hoping that panic causes Tesla stock price to drop drastically. So we got a support right around here at this 418, 417 level. Got a resistance up here at about 420. About 425-ish. So between 417 and 425. And then a five-minute chart.
Okay, here we are today at market open right here on the five minute chart. So, it's the, yeah, I don't think it's going to go higher than this today. Really don't. So, I'm going to check back in with you all, see where we at right now. We down $230. We'll be back. What's good, gang? We back with the last update for the day. And as y'all can see, I'm down $210 currently. This didn't go my way. We got five minutes left until the market closes. So let's check the charts out one last time. So it's going down right here. So I can still hold this until tomorrow if I believed it was, if I have a belief that it'll go down. But the problem is, will it be worth it? So I gotta just debate right now because I, I gotta order in and sell it right now. If I sell it now, I'll be I'll take a two hundred and twenty-two dollar loss. But that can be better than if it goes up a lot higher tomorrow and I end up losing three, four, or five hundred dollars. So I'm debating on selling it right now. I'm just kind of watching it closely. I got about another minute to decide before uh, it be too late. So we're watching this price right here. I'm hoping that this price goes down. I'm betting that it goes down. So if this price goes down, I make my money back. I make more of my money back. I think I'm gonna hop out. Take my losses at two. I see. Don't really want to get stuck holding this. So yeah, let me put this order in. Give it one more minute. 207. See, that's a lot better. 212. 217. So it's going down. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put the order in the sale. So I just took a $225 loss if it gets picked up right here. So it doesn't look like it's going to go through, so I got to... Okay, it went through. Or did it? Did they accept it? Okay, so yep, they accepted it. So we up $237 for the day. I took about a 200 and something dollar loss on that one. 
sadly, sadly, but I think the price was going to go up tomorrow, so I didn't want to get stuck holding it. Now, if this price is lower tomorrow by at least 5 or $6, then I should have held it. But I'm not sure, so I'd rather just get out. But as you can see, I'm still up for the day on a raw $200, even with that loss. So that's it for this video. Make sure y'all check into the next video. Jump in the comment section. Let me know if y'all interested in more. I got y'all. A-Wing Gang, we out.